Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, we will learn about how we can install the or how we can deploy the Jenkins CI/CD pipeline container in our Docker engine. Let's try to see. So before learning about this one, so just I will try to explain you the steps how we can deploy the Jenkins uh, CI/CD application. So for example, let's say that this is our Docker host machine. Uh, sorry. Here, let's try to go to draw and I will select this one. Yeah, oh, what happened? Yeah, so this is our Docker host machine. Let's assume so. This is our talk, total Docker host machine, and this one is called as a Docker host machine. Okay, and this one will be having an internet that is nothing but ENP 0 S3. Right, so let's try to decrease the. and ENPS03 so that is nothing but 192.168.0.13 in my case so in your case the IP address will be so this one is will be this one will communicate to the external board and this ENP0 S3 is connect one end is connected to a docker 03 when you have a docker engine installed in your docker host machine uh, in the in your virtual machine so then docker 0 interface will be created with an IP address of 172 dot 17 dot 0 dot 1 slash 16 okay and this one one end will be connected to the ENP 0 S3 and ENP 0 3 will be connected to the external world so now so in this docker 0 so in this docker 0 I will be one end will be connected to the containers so here I will be installing the Jenkins CACD pipeline okay so for CACD pipeline so the IP address will be 172 dot 17 dot 0.2 okay and we know that this one we cannot access it outside of the docker host machine inside the docker host machine you can access it like 172.117.02 so that means this is a private address so this is a private address and this one will be accessed only inside the docker machine and we cannot communicate to the outside outside of the do uh, docker machine so it, it cannot uh, we cannot access it so that means so we can, uh, so if, if it wants to communicate to the external world means so it will connect to the docker 0 and docker 0 will be connected to this one and this one has an access to the external and this one will be sent automatically to this one but if you want to send any information to this one means you cannot send it so this is one thing which you need to understand and by default Jenkins will be listening to the port 80 and now what we need to do as we already know so we need to do the port forwarding and here the port forwarding will be so it will be listening to the 8090 and we will be doing a port forwarding to the 8090 so whenever you try to access 192.168.0.13 8090 port means it will be connected to this docker host machine so these are all the concepts we have learned it so just i am explaining an overview how you how we will be implementing the uh, jenkins ca cd pipeline deployment in the docker host machine so now you hope you understood about this concept so let's try to understand some basic information about the jenkins so what is jenkins and why we need to use this jenkins in our development process so i have designed a ppt for this one let's try to see so jenkins application deployment so let us understand why we have to go for jenkins as one of the ci cd tool so jenkins is one of the open source for the ci cd implementation so here why, why, why i am telling is jenkins is a ci cd Tool. so that means continuous integration and continuous deployment tool so why we are going for the Jenkins is Jenkins is an open source for CI CD implementation as DevOps culture remain in, came into picture we need to automate everything there should not be any manual interve intervention or manual work so that means DevOps when the DevOps came into picture so everything should be automated and there should not be any manual intervention so that means manual work or manually deploying or anything should not be present so we have ansible we have terraform and so many tools like ansible terraform so these are our automation things so we have so many tools let's say for example a developer will write a code and developer will push the code to the version control system so it can be cvs or distributed control system so that means so as a developer we will write the code and we will commit the code into the virtual control systems like git like github bitbucket aws repos so whatever it may be whichever thing you are using gitlab anything so it will be pushed the code will be pushed into the 
version control system so when i push the code the git repository someone has to do the job so when we have pushed the code so that means our job is as a developer the job is finished so when we push the code someone has to do the job uh, with the pushing with the pushed code that particular tool is nothing but your ci cd tool so the the next job is done by this by your ci cd tool in that tool i am choosing jenkins because it is an open source everybody can download the code no license key and we can start using it so that means everybody can download the code there is no need of license key and anything and we can start everybody can yeah, start using it since it is an open source we have plenty of contributors to this particular development so that means uh, so so many collaborators will be there for this particular development we have so many plugins that we can integrate n number of services or n number of tools to your jenkins jenkins was developed on java program if you are really comfortable with java code means it will be really comfortable for you to customize your jenkins application by using some groovy script jenkins listens by default on the 8080 port number so this is one thing you need to understand it listens on the 8080 port number jenkins will have one more component called as slave so in the jenkins we have one more component called as slave but here in this application i will be not deploying the slave just i am explaining you a web button overview of this jenkins slave is nothing but jenkins worker worker node now if my master wants to communicate with the worker node then we it will use a port number called 50000 so why that is why i am mentioning here by default jenkins dashboard will be listening to the port 80 and it jenkins also has a slave which is called as a worker node and that worker node if it come if it wants to com communicate with the master thing is it will use the port number 50000 jenkins master can have a slave now master wants to communicate with the slave or slave wants to send data to the master means it is done it is done to the, through the 50000 port number that's why we have two port numbers in the jenkins 80 port number is to access the jenkins dashboard 50000 port number is to jenkins server to access your slave and next comes the data the application data or the jenkins data it will be stored under var slash lib slash jenkins if you have installed the jenkins not as a container if you have installed as a bare metal server or a virtual machine with the help of package manager or something like that or the cloud in the cloud or something like that then the data will be stored in var slash lib slash jenkins directory that is the thing so if you have uh, not installed the jenkins as a container means as a docker container if you have installed directly like a traditional way means then you will be having a data folder or something like jenkins if you install your jenkins as a container in a docker or kubernetes for example then the default location will be slash var slash jenkins underscore home so this is the folder where the data will be stored we have we can customize this based on your requirement but by default if you are using official jenkins image means then the location will be var slash jenkins underscore home after this you can see jenkins uses a lot of plugin to create action specific to the task or a job if you write a particular pipeline if you want to write a particular pipeline means so everything will be a plugin based only for example for every task in the jenkins to do we have plugins that plugin will do the actual action to that particular task for example jenkins want to talk to the github bins we have a separate plugin for it which is called as a github plugin now that particular plugin will help jenkins to communicate to your github with the necessary actions that's it so everything is a plugin based so you can install the plugin everything will be available so you can install the plugin and you can you start using that one for every particular task you will be having an actions for that one we can build ci cd jobs using dsl or Gu groovy's language for example if i want to write the pipelines in the javascript jenkins means we can use that dsl or we can go for groovy script as well so for that what we can do it is so for that that means for that you have you need to know the groovy language if you don't want to learn groovy language means you can go for a simple dsl that is nothing but domain specific language also this is the basic information about the application which we are going to deploy in the docker engine which is called as a jenkins ci cd pipeline so just i am giving you a basic overview of this one so hope you understood about the jenkins about the information those who doesn't know about the jenkins just i am giving an overview why we use the jenkins in our devops culture and the developer thing so what is the use of this jenkins so hope you understood about this jenkins csd cd pipeline so next in our next video we will start practical implementation deploying the jenkins container in our docker host machine so hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video 
and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you